Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to do a an experiment. So I've been told by sources that this is basically unplayable right now because of the Bloodhound event. And I wanted to see it with my own eyes. And maybe you've already seen this, you probably already know about this. I have heard that this map is chaos right now because you have to play Bloodhound on World's Edge and land in a specific spot. Whereas, you know, if if it's on any other map, yeah, here's our Bloodhound. If it's on any other map, it doesn't matter because you can't complete the event and you have to play Bloodhound and your teammates don't get credit for it. This is all over Reddit right now, the Apex Legends subreddit. Um, and I've seen a little bit of of it on Twitter as well. I'm very curious. I'm very curious what's gonna happen here. And it's our Bloodhound that has Jumpmaster. We're gonna see what happens here. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I also, I live under a rock, by the way. And not literally, but realistically. So I don't even know where the event location is. To be honest with you, I probably should have looked that up before I started this video. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so yeah, so this dude's breaking off for I don't know where he's going. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's doing the event So right now basically our bloodhound is doing the event challenge or the like event story The problem is he has to like what I understand. I haven't seen like POV of it. He has to like follow tracks I'm surprised that not more people have I probably should have let him live, that was rude. I'm coming, Horizon. And that bumped me off. Shoot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, and it's taking him way over. Shoot. All right, Horizon, where do you want me to res you? I can res you close, but we're going to have this team on us. Okay, I might honestly... Man, I'm trying to do the bloodhound thing. Yeah, no, I get you. I might just follow you anyway, so we're not, like, totally split up. Does it take you all like, across the map, run, or...? Like, basically, we want you to run 550 meters as bloodhound. Jeez. After the landing there, it's a really bad... Like, yeah, so, like, why did they make it... So, like, and I'm not mad at you, by the way, for the record, but, like... Yeah. They make you do this in like squats. You can't like solo drop for yeah. this unless you know Phil. It's, it's terrible. Let's All right, go I'm gonna res teammate um, on this like area. I'll zip line right. over to it. Yeah, I'm only uh, 43 away from the next thing. Good deal. Yeah, you can no fill, but it only lets like three people per lobby no fill. So I don't know. Setting up a zip line. Just feels like they could have done a better job with like implementation for this one. It's terrible. I you should be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> like I get it. Oh, right, here's the bird. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Wait, do you have to keep chasing Arthur? Arthur? Enemy spotted. Giving my shield. Oh. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> the teammate was not about this. Recharging shield. Recharging my shield. Star. Incoming care package. Crack the blood on one hundred. Oh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, GG's. I honestly might just even end the video there. I don't know. Maybe I'll add another game in here. But it's like... Why do you have to make it like that? Why do you have to do that? Like, I I, I know that you can no-fill. But what people are saying is, like, you can only... Only three people can no-fill per lobby. So if every single person in the game is trying to complete this challenge, it's just... It's impossible. I'll throw you with the squad anyway. 
And then you're just stuck in this where like, what do you do? And then you could always land in that one spot so that you just get, you could farm kills, man. Everyone's going to be running there. And in a battle royale game where the zone of play is variable, it's not constant. You have to have the right RNG to get into a lobby no fill, which takes forever, by the way. Plus, you have to land in the specific spot, survive, and make it to the next spot wherever it is. I really love the lore in this game. I think it's really cool. I think they missed it with this one, though. The The implementation is really the issue. I think the storyline is totally fine. I feel like this is one of those where, like, they're trying so hard to put the game lore into the game that it's unavoidable and it actually is creating tension it's actually creating issues with their main lobbies and that's an issue i think that's and now let like let's be fair fortnite has events not events they do have events they have challenges like this where like you know you have to find letters strewn across the map you have to find I don't know, garden gnomes. I don't remember what it is the last time I played Fortnite. But the thing about Fortnite is there also is a dedicated solo mode. So unless you're playing with teammates that, like, you've decided, hey, let's grind some challenges this today. Like, unless you're playing with that crew, you're stuck in this spot where you're intentionally throwing for your team. had an animation for that one that's unfortunate holy crap 15,000 kills 10,000 in season 9 that's insane bro go outside go outside I think Fortnite implemented those types of challenges and little story bits in a way that's a little bit more digestible in their main game without like you could focus on challenges or you could play the game and there's not a lot of when I played it, I guess it's been a little while since I've played, but it wasn't so interruptive. I'm gonna drop in another game or two and I wanna see like how much of an issue is this in day to day? Like, am I gonna be stuck in Lava Siphon? Am I gonna be stuck with a Bloodhound every single game? What's it gonna look like? All right, so we have a Bloodhound. Let's see, uh, let's see if they land in Lava Siphon. Okay, it's not the Bloodhound that's picking the location. Right yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I guess that works. As long as your bloodhound's not the jump master, you're uh, you're probably not gonna end up landing there. Landing, like here, there's at least one team with us. Ow. down try to help you guys oh you're right there I cracked the Bangalore and the octane looks like octane's down try to block him the reason that you're trying to punch them is if you die right here I'm gonna be very upset Bro, that was risky, my friend. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be in pubs for World's Edge. Um, from what I saw on social media, I was expecting it to be insane. Like, literally just so crazy and nutty. Uh, and it really wasn't that bad. You know, I had one teammate out of, what was that, five? Four? Uh, whatever in post. But, like... It wasn't as bad as I thought. I do still stand by my original statement. I don't think it makes sense for them to do such a big story part inside of the base game. You know, that's the decision they made. I'm happy to see that at least now, I can't remember if this event dropped this morning, yesterday. I'm happy to see that this isn't like so rampant that it's impossible to have a normal game in pubs. I still ended up dropping with teammates that landed Fragment, but you know, what are you going to do?